hello welcome to this tutorial and today i'm going to introduce to you another good software for steel detailing this software works on autocad platform and also independently it is called techno metal and this software is from uh, steel graphics company and we will get started right away if you take a look on the screen here we have uh, the user interface of this particular software now we have three tabs here we have techno metal sa and techno metal 2d so under sa is structural analysis and uh, techno metal 4d is a uh, 3d modeling and 2d is a uh, plain to a uh, plain autocad detailing now today i'm going just to take you through on the basics and uh, we'll start by creating the grid lines and uh, plan layout of uh, any steel structure maybe uh, of a, a portal frame and you get started right away here so and uh, this techno metal the moment you click on that you'll be able to access all the tools that uh, are applicable under 2d uh, environment and uh, for the environment all the tools will be presented to you on the menu section here and uh, techno structural analysis everything will be provided to you here now let's kick start with this and uh, take you take you through on how you can use this uh, tool and how it does neat and quality work now we are going to create the plan layout and a grid line for any a structure so I'll go ahead and click on this macro here so under this macro here we have all this you have the setup you have the scheme you have the columns you have the beams you have the intermediate holes you have the plan reading this is extensive and we'll go step by step as we've been doing with Tecla structures so that you get you get the point here and learn how to use this uh, fantastic software now I'm going to get started by clicking on the scheme here so once I click on the scheme here, you'll see a Techno Metal 2D uh, dialog box with wireframe plant, uh, plant scheme. So we have threads and pickets here. So this is where you define uh, your dimensions of your, uh, of your plan of any particular structure. So we'll, uh, this one will be our X axis and this one will be our Y axis. So this 16 means the number of columns and uh, this 6 means the the interval measurement between each and every column and this one means the span so this first number it's labeling of the grid lines both on x and y axis so once you've done that you just go ahead and click ok here so the moment you click ok you will be able to read on the bottom end here click uh, point insertion pick your insertion point just to expand on it a bit so once you you uh, you pick any point on the screen here in this on uh, this in in this window right, right here you'll be able to see a grid line in place but the scale is very small so you want to be able to see everything clearly so what i'm going to do right here is to adjust this scale and uh, we will we'll be able to see everything clearly and it will look more presentable than this now let me delete this and once i've deleted that i'll come to uh, at the corner here and click on the setup then i'll come to project configuration right there so this will bring this window of techno metal and from here i'll play with these two scales here there's a uh, hundred and the stand for 2d so we'll adjust these to either 100 and uh, come here and click ok remember this is where you feed in the uh, uh, all the information about uh, your, your your project or regarding your project so once I've, I've done that I'll go ahead and click ok so once I come here and start all over again on the process of uh, grid creation here I'll come to scheme here and use the same same settings because the system has read and saved them and will be uh, they will be used on uh, as a default setting now I'll go ahead and click OK to start once again and pick any position on the window here 
So the moment I click, you'll be able to see now what we have. It's visible. And further, you can play around or, or modify this grid to look more or more presentable than what you see now. Now, how do we do that? What we are going to do right now, we are going to select. Let me first of all just walk you through on how this looks. The 15 meter is are these measurements, this and that, making a span of 30 meters. By the way, this is a one to one to a one to one scale. So if you come to annotate here and try to measure it with AutoCAD tools, you'll be able to get the, the same same information. So if, if, I, if I click on that and drag that out, you'll be able to see actually it's 30 meters if you add both sides. Now I want to add a general uh, a general height a general length of this uh, of this of this length of, the, of of this building by now trying to modify it further so what i'm going to do i'm going to select everything here like that and come here and click move so once i've clicked move right there i'll snap just at the at the bottom end here and drag it and place it somewhere here so once i've done that what i'm going to do next is just it's very simple what uh, i'll just go ahead and click x uh, ex on my on my keyboard which means extend a short a shortcut uh, a shortcut for extension on, on on autocad also works for this program so i'll go ahead and click enter so i'll, I'll select all these i'll select all this again and uh, right click on my on my keyboard on, on my on my mouse then just extend all this then just extend all this what you see here will just extend select everything and extend because what you're doing now is just uh, off the default settings or, or, and try to modify this to look uh, a little bit more pronounced now let me just select on that select on this select on that perfect and also if you need this labeling on the other end you can just mirror and now let's place this a general let, let's place this a, to, a full high a full length of this uh, layout so I'll snap on that spot on that spot and uh, bring it somewhere there so if you take a look here closely you'll be able to see that the text the font sizes are very small for the dimensions so another thing you can do here it's very simple remember whatever uh, remember it works on autocad platform and now whatever is applicable in autocad it's also is also applicable in uh, techno metal uh, tools and uh, and uh, environment also now let me just delete this again and we try something else now since the dimensions uh, font sizes of, of dimension style was very very small now we want to adjust the dimension setting style now i'll just press a d and press uh, enter on my on my keyboard here so i'll go ahead and click modify button here and what i'm going to do uh, my target right now is just to uh, increase the height uh, the font height for my text uh, uh, dimension style so, so when we come to modify here and click modify you will, you will go straight to text style st text style here and click this drop down arrow here and pick on standard so if you take a look here you can see the text height is 300 let's let's try and change this to 400 and click ok and click apply uh, uh, set current and close so if you go back to scheme and use the same settings and try to apply that you'll be able to see it's extremely big and uh, the settings applicable in autocad is also applicable here so let's go back and 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 do uh, a fresh thing here let me just click zoom and click zoom extent so i'll come back to scheme now i'll come back to dimension style by pressing d and click on modify so once i've clicked on modify I'll go ahead and click 10 here and come here and click OK. And I'll click uh, set current and click close. Then come to scheme and try to place that and you'll be able to see that we have we have our text now a little bit pronounced and uh, the dimensions 
here the ticks or the arrows are best placed now let us let us do the same thing we we highlight everything here and try and modify as we did uh, before drag it make sure you operate on a straight line or uh, you are on ortho mode so first of all let me first of all uh, highlight everything first right click and come to move here and a snap right there and drag it and place it right there so i need an extension i'll, I'll just uh, type a, a, a ex and enter on my keyboard and uh, i want to select everything here select right there and, and right click on my keyboard and select everything to extend right here i want to extend everything here right there i want to extend that and also i want to extend that i want to extend these lines to touch the label like that and now i can follow it up with my customized uh, dimension style and i'll snap on that spot and stretch all the way and snap on this spot and here so i can drag this dimension and place it somewhere there now that looks much uh, much more better after modifying it further i'll right click and come to move and come here and drag it and place it right there and uh, once i've select I've, sele I've moved it or selected on that i'll press ex on my keyboard and click enter because and i want to extend this uh, grid line grid lines here it's not responding and what i'm going to do again i'm going to extend this right click and select on that select on that and select on this so i'll come back to annotate and i want to place my measurements from that spot and this spot remember this we are in stage one of introduction of this software and we've started with the 2d uh, uh, option so you can see the span is uh, 30 meters so this is how the grid line looks so you can either do everything select everything here once again and uh, just press mi on your keyboard and we want to mirror that on the other end select right there and enter and also you can go ahead and click ex and uh, extend that e extend that on the other end we've left a two here and we can go ahead and click mirror and select mirror just type mi and you, you can mirror that on the other end so let's extend this it's not a big a big issue to, to perform or, to, or a big task to to do so i'll select everything here just select everything right click and we want to extend all this just try and sele sele uh, extend all that so this is how it looks now this is how our grid lines look just extend that and select on everything here this is how it looks and this is how our grid line looks this is how our grid line looks let me just press control line so that we minimize this co command line just press control control line so that we get rid of this line at the bottom end here so this is how it works and thanks a lot for watching this video and let's meet on the next presentation of techno metal from graphics and steel so this is a very good software so we'll, we'll be moving step by step on how we can share knowledge regarding this uh, software for the time being so thanks a lot don't forget to subscribe to this channel Amores Dimba, and be safe stay at home and bye bye